Welcome back. This is Chili Davidson. I'm back to do another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. Uh, today, we'll just do a quick week in review. And uh, we're going to talk about Ford Motor Company. Uh, I know I've been talking about this stock a lot this week, but it's been doing phenomenal. Uh, so we look at stock uh, F. Uh, Ford Motor Company is up over 14% in the last week. Now, this is huge gains on the week. Uh, you know, usually we like to see a 5 or 6% move, but it was up 14% on the week. Uh, we know Ford Motor Company is coming out with the electric F-150 called the Lightning Truck, and uh, it has a 52-week high of $24. Now, if you know, you watch my channel frequently, we, we do a, a look at a stock forecast. We look at tip ranks from time to time, and we know that the forecast price target for the year it was actually $25. So it's already hit $25. If you look at the uh, new price target, it has since been raised to $32. So the uh, high price target now is $32, but I'm still going to say conservatively, let's keep it at $25. Uh, look for a pullback soon, hope for a pullback. And that way you can get into this stock if you haven't already. So Ford is uh, kicked off the year at a phenomenal pace. Like I said, over the first week, Ford is up over 14%. Uh, the next ticker symbol we'll talk about today is DE or John Deere. Uh, again, John Deere is a brand of, of Deere and Company, American manufacturer, agricultural machinery and heavy equipment. And we do know that uh, Deere is going into the autonomous uh, tractors selling business. Uh, so it's, it's doing great in this market. Uh, they are up this week over the last five days, 10%. So that is awesome to see John Deere. Uh, they have a 52 week high of $400. So it looks like if they can get back up there, that's, that's a nice little 22, $23 profit uh, margin in there for you. Uh, also, the, it has a 52-week low, 278. So if this thing pulls back, uh, you still got a lot of uh, room to, for it to grow. Uh, again, John Deere, uh, you know, is doing great. Uh, it shows here, if you read some of these article, SDA developers, uh, the last, latest company diving into the autonomous driving is John Deere. So Deere is so much, Deere has so much cash, this article is seeking alpha. So there's quite a bit of news out there, John Deere, just check the news articles here through Google uh, and you'll see why uh, investors are buying into uh, John Deere. Also, uh, they do pay a 1.1% dividend. So check that out as well. Uh, and then next stock to talk about for the week is ConocoPhillips. ConocoPhillips over the week uh, kicked off the week up 11%. So again, uh, just because in general, the market was down does not mean there's a winner out there. So John Deere over the last week was up 11%. And if we look at the 52-week high, now this thing is hot. The 52-week high is $80.93. So I would just look for a pullback maybe if you wanted to get into the stock. This thing is, is, is hot. It's at its 52-week high of $80, pretty much like Ford. Uh, but with Ford, I know they've already done a, a new upgrade. If you look at it now, there's people saying Ford can go to 32 Let's take a quick look at uh, where Conoco's Phillips uh, price target is for the future. And looks like the, uh, the high price target on Conoco Phillips is 117 now. Uh, I'm still, even though, uh, you know, it says 117, I would still wait for a pullback if you were looking to enter in the Conoco Phillips. But again, uh, we do know this week, uh, a lot of stuff got hit, uh, but energy stocks right now are actually doing well. So check out uh, ConocoPhillips, ticker symbol COP. Uh, and then our next top stock to talk about today is an ETF. Now, well, an ETF, it, it's, it's a couple of companies, collection of companies. So ETF, Vanguard, Vanguard uh, 500. Uh, something I wanted to show you about uh, ETFs, or they are great. Now, if you don't want to invest in one company, you can invest in a collection of companies. And this one is tied to the uh, S&P 500, uh, the Vanguard 500. Now, look at this. Now, over the last week, the Vanguard was down 2.13% over the week. Now, 
Now, it may look uh, tough to short term, just like we had a really rough week. If you looked at the major indexes, the Dow Jones Industrial and such. But if we look at the Vanguard over the year, they have an excellent gain of 22%. So if you're new at investing and buying a single stock seems complicated, just look at some of these ETFs. We have the Vanguard 500. The ticker symbol is VOO, and you can purchase it on any platform, whether you're on Robinhood or you're uh, on uh, TD Ameritrade or any of the other popular platforms. These are great. You're not going to see, uh, in the short term, you're not going to see huge gains, but you will see a conservative gain over the year. So this is something, if you're new in investing, uh, I usually try to tend to invest in dividend stocks or ETFs. So a good dividend uh, paying Vanguard uh, is the Vanguard 500. And then the next uh, ETF I wanted to talk about today was VTI, another Vanguard. And again, as you can see over the past week, just as much of the market was down, so was the ETF. But again, if we look at years past, can't look at year to, year to year to date. We're only into two uh, weeks, so it's not going to show you much there. But uh, if you look here, year to date, again over the past year, uh, the VTI or the Vanguard uh, total index fund was up eighteen percent. So these are the type of uh, uh, ETFs, a uh, collection of stocks you want to get into if you're pretty new at investing. Uh, another one that I'm following is Jeppy. This is the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. Again, if we look at the short term, they were down 1% for the week, but for the year, they were up over 12%. So again, uh, check out some of these ETFs. These are great foundational uh, uh, investments you can make if you don't wanna risk the money to go into a pure stock, if you don't know enough about the stock itself to make a guidance. Uh, but one more stock I wanted to talk about this week was BAC or Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America was up uh, today or Friday was up 2.18%. And over the week, they were up 9%. Again, so these were three stocks that were up. Uh, if you watch my channel, uh, you know I talk about Conical Phillips and some of these banking stocks, Bank of America. Uh, I've done very well in Bank of America and I can't complain. Uh, again, uh, they have a nice chart as well. If you, if you know banks, they're pretty conservative and they're pretty intelligent. So if you look at Bank of America for the year, you'll see a pretty conservative chart. Again, for the year, over the last year, Bank of America has been up over 51%. Uh, this company has been run very well by Brian Monaghan. And so uh, you want to be involved with stocks, high quality stocks that in this current market, this is what they want. They want to see conservative growth. Uh, there may be a time for uh, tech and some of the high super growth, but right now the market is looking at value stocks. So again, uh, Bank of America is doing great. Uh, it has a 52 week high of $49. So if you haven't bought Bank of America, you could nibble some now. And then once the stock falls, pulls back, then you want to buy back in some more because it has a 50-week low of $29.57. Also, they pay a nice dividend of $171. <clears throat> so those are uh, three ways to invest, three stocks and three ETFs to help you on your investment journey. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. And if you like some free stock from Robinhood, please use my link below. Have a great day.